أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Welcome brothers and sisters to today's video blog You see the title? It says, give me the money Give me the money I want a new car I want a new house I want Give me the money, give me the money I want the money Get that money I'm going to do everything right I promise you Oh yeah, when I get that money, it's on. Everybody's going to get something. I'm going to give some to little Lolo and little Jojo. Everybody's going to get a cut because of money. When I get that money, I'm going to hook everybody up. See, I, I need to get my mama a new refrigerator. I need to get my mama this and that as soon as I get that money. So many of us in today's civilization gets caught up in this idea of Monetary success and money. You know, money's a topic everybody likes. Just the title alone, you know, people are just drawn to it. The cash, the dollar bill, your cheese, your cheddar, your skrilla, all of that, the money. People love it. Well, in this video blog, I'm going to try to attempt, and this is my disclaimer, I mean attempt, to give my brothers and sisters some insight in this ideology or concept we hold in our hearts called money. There's so many people in the world that go crazy for money. They go buck wild on their job, taxes, everything. Oh man, you talk about money. Eyeballs go like this. You say you have this amount of money and you're in the bank line, the guy next to you is going to go, hmm. He's going to be interested in your conversation. You talk about money on the phone. Everybody's pretending like they're not listening, but they know they got to listen to this conversation. You get a hotel room, you walk in. Either you go in the valet, you don't go in the valet, or you're in a nice restaurant. Certain waiters will help you, certain waiters won't help you because they believe that they're going to get that tip. The guy that sees you ride up in the old car, He's not going to help you. He's going to send the rookie to help you because you need to pull up in a BMW to get his attention so he can get that tip. Our government runs on money. Money conspiracies, these scandals that we see in government and corporations ripping off money. Money's a big problem. Well, let me help you. When you think about money, do it like this. Number one, you have to be satisfied with what you have today. You have to learn how to have satisfaction for what Allah has provided for you in order for you to stabilize your mind to even think about getting some money. Well, let me explain a little bit more closely what I mean. How many people have you known said as soon as they get just the next $20, they'll give their friend back what they owed them? So let's take that point. How many people got money and didn't give you back what they got from you. To my Muslim brothers and sisters, we're going to bring this back to Islam. Because in Islam, we have the answers. That's right. This deen provides the answers for your money management problems. Like the Surat al-Mustaqim in the Quran, it says, Do not spend niggardly or extravagantly. Meaning, don't spend a little and don't spend too much. Find that middle path. But I can give you advice from an area that I understand. And that is, don't live beyond your means and be grateful. Every single day you wake up, you should be grateful. If you're looking at me on a computer screen, that means that you should be grateful. More than likely, you have a refrigerator. More than likely, you have all different choices of sweets up and down the street. Different places to go, sights to see movies to see, things to do. So you should be grateful because there's a lot of people, probably more than you can imagine, who don't have that luxury. So the objective is to be grateful. That's the first point in managing your concept of money. Now, if you can prove to your Lord who's watching you on a day-to-day -day basis that you're grateful for your money, hmm, 
he probably increase you because he knows that you'll do the right thing with it. Allahu alam. But if you're praying for increasing of wealth, that would be the first step before you would even think about trying to hustle up some money that's not going to work for you. Well, pure baraka, something that you can get that you can actually hold on to. That money that Allah blesses you with that's substantial, it could just be one dollar, but it will burn very slow. And that's what you want. On the other hand, you can try to do money schemes, network marketing, pyramids, different things. And you might get a lot of money, but will it be sustainable? Especially with your mentality, lack of humility and lack of piety. These things will really hurt you when you're dealing with your money problems. Yes, brothers and sisters, my opinions on money, I am drawing the conclusion that it connects directly, and I mean directly, to your level of faith. If you're struggling, if you're not feeling satisfied with what Allah has given you, you need to review what's in your dome and try to focus on being grateful for every single molecule that Allah has given you and focus on that and Allah will increase you. When you run to the dunya, the dunya runs away from you. But when you run away from the dunya, the dunya runs at you. That's the concept you want to hold on. A wise brother passed that on to me. Now I'm passing it on to you. So in actuality, you are successful today. Every one of my viewers that are watching this video blog, you're successful because you know you're probably at a higher point than you were yesterday. And if you keep working, you'll be even higher. You are successful if you make your five daily prayers and you're doing what you're supposed to do. Take it from your brother. It's the best way to increase your pockets by getting down and making dua. So to conclude, I'll leave you with a great ayat to support this video blog. This is from Surah Taha, 131. Just one ayat for you. And do not strain your eyes in longing for the things we have given for enjoyment to various groups amongst the disbelievers and the polytheists. Truly, the splendor of this life of this world was given to them so that we may test them whereby, but the provision, good reward in the hereafter of your Lord is better and more lasting. And Allah speaks the truth. Truly your wealth is a test as your treatment of your family is a test. So as Muslims, we want to remain firm and remembering that all these longings for the life of the world is only a test for us. We have to stay strong on our commitment to being pious and righteous and truthful. This is the principles of Islam. Brothers and sisters, I speak to myself first, for I am far from perfect. But if there's a way that I can construct a message to touch you today, and its message did do that, then I thank Allah, for success happens one step at a time. Your brother Umar, signing out. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.